Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, good afternoon. It's my honor to be here to share my uh, experience and my dreams for you guys. When um, Cherry, the organizer, first uh, invited me to come to here to have a tech talk, um, I asked Cherry what I can talk about. Uh, then Cherry said that just talk about entertainment production. Um, my name is Hin. Um, I'm one of the founder of Pride Entertainment Productions, uh, and my some of my staff are also here. And another founder, Anil, is also here. Uh, say hello to Anil. Um, I'm so nervous, you know. Uh, when you uh, read my biography in uh, the paper you are handing, uh, you know that I graduated from Australia, right? But I haven't speak for uh, speak English for a really, really long time. Um, in my daily work, I don't need to use English anymore, actually. So I will try my best to make you understand what I'm talking about today. But uh, forgive me, I'm not a native English uh, English speaker. Most of you, maybe your English skill is better than mine. But I will try my best. Okay, let's start our talk. Okay, here is some of my work uh, in Macau. Some of you may watch the TV show before. Some of you, uh, you may not, but um, it doesn't matter. Uh, I hope after this uh, tech talk, you will have a brief understanding of me, uh, my work. And then uh, if you want to join this creative industry, you will think about join our company, Pride Entertainment Productions. OK, may I ask you guys some questions first about entertainment. What is entertainment? What is entertainment? When we talk about entertainment in Macau, most of the people will think about three things immediately. The first thing, uh, casino. casino. The second thing, hotel. The third thing, casino again. Casino again, yeah. This is entertainment in Macau. But actually, uh, question two, do we have entertainment in Macau? What I'm going to talk uh, entertainment today is not the casino, hotel, and casino. Uh, what I'm going to talk about entertainment is about TV show, movie, singers, idol, and stars. But do we have this thing in Macau? Can you answer me? Mm, yeah, but a little bit, right? Um, question three. How often you will watch Macau TV? Every day? Every day? No, don't lie to me. <laughs> Honestly, um, when I was a student like you, uh, only two situations will make me watch Macau TV. The first, typhoon is coming. <laughs> yeah. The second, Typhoon have already come. <laughs> yeah. Okay. At another another situation. I is ring, outside is raining really heavy. I will watch the Macau TV station because I want to know do I have to go to school. So this only a free situation. I will watch Macau TV. But actually, they they try to improve a lot nowadays. Uh, they try to make some more show, make more shows, uh, improve the quality of their shows. But however, there are not so many Macau citizens will watch Macau TV, right? Question four. Um, how many Macau idols, artists, you can call out their name or remember their name? Who? Who? Okay, um, I don't know. Yeah. Now, how many? How many? How many? I, I, I know some of them, but maybe you don't know, right? Number five. Um, can we have the entertainment field in Macau? Um, I, when, when I graduated from Australia, I bring all those questions. I bring all those questions with my bachelor degree, and then come back to Macau. Yeah, I bring all the why to come to Macau. Why we don't have our entertainment field? Why we don't have our own uh, talent? Why we don't have our artists? I got so many why. Uh, when I come back with my bachelor degree, I want to change something. I want to do something for the creative industry. I really like to change it and bring more new ideas to Macau. However, I don't have any connection. Uh, the only connection uh, with the industry in Macau um, is I did internship in Macau twice in two different com uh, companies, Almond TV and Chessman. And then when I was still a uni student, I, I shoot one uh, music video for a Macau singer, and then I make some promotion video for my alma mater, uh, school pushing me to school. Yeah, this is the only connection I have with creative industry. How can I change? How can I change this field? How can I change the creative industry in Macau? 2012, when I first come back to Macau, uh, I start my career as a freelance director. Uh, some of you may watch this TV program before. Anyone? No, okay. 
Okay, it's so sad. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. It's still on YouTube, you can check it. Um, I, I have an idea to make an uh, online TV show for General Association of Chinese Students Association, AECM. The show called Youth V60. Um, when I first plan to create this show, um, some people said that I'm really crazy. No one will watch online TV in Macau, but I don't think so. Uh, I proposed this uh, online program to this association, and I told them, uh, give me the budget. I will make the high school student love this program. Uh, the program, the result of this program, out of my expectation, actually, uh, is quite popular. Not in your school, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because in Chinese, Chinese, uh, online TV program, not English, and then we don't have any subtitles, so you may not understand it. So, uh, in a Chinese high school, uh, it's quite popular. Yeah, it's quite popular. Um, when I, working as a freelancer, I also, um, uh, make some promotion video for the company, for some business, and for the, uh, government. In 2013, when I was 23 years old, when I was 23 years old, I found that um, freelancer is not a long-term choice for me because if you are, if you are a freelancer in Macau, you can only uh, work on the small small project and the small case. Uh, government or some casino or hotels they won't uh, invite you to join their project and then they won't hire you to shoot the video for them. So I decided to uh, find a Production house, fine production house, fine entertainment production. So, what is the uh, fine entertainment production about? We have the really important concept in our company: business and commercial. Uh, some of my staff is here today. They they understand this concept really really well because what Pi is doing is uh, we want to earn money, earn money. Earn money. It is because we are business and commercial uh, company, right? But uh, when the government always talking about to how can Macau develop the uh, creative industry, actually, what's industry about? What's industry about? Um, I don't think that industry means the company can financially respons responsible for profits or losses in business dealings. What's it mean? It means that uh, industry means real wealth means um, business world. Uh, some of the some of the arts people in Macau, they won't think about this. Uh, they are going to apply for the funding from the government and then to shoot the video, but this is not what we are doing. Uh, we try our best to seek for the potential clients. Uh, we try our best to do our production, and then we try our best to earn our profits. Um, what we are doing is we want to shoot the video, earn profit, and then we can shoot what we like. People who know me or doesn't know me, they, they, they always, they always talk, talk to me like that. Uh, Hin, are you crazy? You are only 23 years old. Do you have enough capital or do you have enough experience to set up a uh, company like this? No, I don't. I'm still learning. To, uh, from the first day I come back to Macau till now, I, the, the moment I stand on this day, I, I, I'm still learning. Um, but as I mentioned before, if I don't set up the company, I can't go on the next level. I want more. So that's why uh, Pine Entertainment is here. Uh, another very important concept is that uh, my parents, even my parents or your parents will think about, will think that um, arts people or the people who work, work, work in the creative industry means no money. Means no money. But I don't think so. Uh, I want to prove that even I work in the creative industry, I still can earn money. I still can eat what I want. I still can buy what I want. But now I, I, I can't, of course. I'm still working on it. Okay. Here is some of the artists in Pride Entertainment. Uh, people, even the staff in my company, they always say that, hey, Hin, you are crazy. You are a crazy man. Yeah, actually, I think so. I'm a crazy man. Um, why I'm crazy? Pride Entertainment, not only doing the video production, we also have our artist team. We have our crew. We have our uh, uh, studio. You know, uh, in Macau, there are not so many teenagers like you guys who sign the artist contract with the production company. But actually, we got five. Um, if I were a crazy man, they are also crazy, actually. I don't know why they, 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 they signed the contract. Maybe they trust me, right? 
Um, what are we doing now, except the uh, artist management, we are also going to launch a OTV. What's OTV? OTV is still in the testing uh, stage. We are going to have our own night TV uh, channel. And on that website, we will have our own uh, TV, TV program, our own show. So uh, people can go on, go to the website and then check it. They will know more about our production. So OTV is one of the biggest projects in, in my life, I think. Um, also, you may ask that, him, why you try to do, do the thing no one will do? Um, even my, my, my mom said that um, you can't survive in uh, Macau when you're working in the uh, creative industry. Um, I, I told mom, um, no, I don't think so, because I'm only 23 years old. Uh, tell you a secret, um, even in Pride, even uh, Pride Entertainment is a really young company. Their boss, me, is only 23 years old, and then the average age of this company is also 23. It's really, really young company. So I shouldn't say no to any opportunity before I try and before I on the way to achieve my goal. So I want to try. Okay, principle of pride. There are five principles in uh, my company. Actually, I think we, I can call this as a hints principle because all of my uh, staff in pride entertainment, they understand these five principles very well. Attitude, attitude. Your school teacher always asks you, hey, behave yourself. Good, good attitude is really important, right? But in creative industry, working attitude is more important than the ability. Why I say like that? Um, I don't care if you have, if you don't have any experience in creative industry. I don't care if you are not talent artist, but I do care that your attitude. You must show me that you want to learn something. You must show me that you are not afraid to make a mistake. You must show me that you try your best to do everything. You try your best to avoid the mistake and try your best uh, to fix it when you, miss the mis uh, when you miss the mistake. So this is the attitude. This attitude, the first principle in Pride Entertainment. The second one, creative thinking. Compared with the developed uh, company or the big company, Pride Entertainment is still a young company. Um, Compared with them, we don't have a really good uh, software or hardware. We don't have the most famous uh, uh, artists, but we do have our creative thinking. Try to make some new concept, think new story for the clients. No one can take out any good idea from your brain. So creative thinking is the second important thing in our company. The third one, I want 120%. What was the meaning? Um, some of you may, when you were doing the homework, you would think, oh, I just put 80% or 90% effort to the homework is enough. Uh, I don't need to finish in 100%. But in Pride Entertainment, we, we are not only um, want our staff to pay 100% effort to every project. No matter the case is small or big, no matter we earn uh, more or less in this project, we want them to pay 120% to every project. The fourth, marketing and promotion. Most of the arts people in Macau, they don't care about this thing. After they uh, spend a lot of time on their work, they don't do the marketing and promotion. Uh, I, I don't understand that. When I was in Australia, most of the people talking about how to do the marketing. Um, if you spend a lot of time to do your work, why you don't just spend some resource to promote your work? Let's do a test. Everyone have an iPhone, right? Everyone have an iPhone. You can bring iPhone to a school. Take out your phone and then go on Facebook, and then search one word for me, Pride Entertainment, Pride Entertainment. Search the page for me, search, search it, search it. And then click like, like the page, like the page. When you like the page, your friends will see it, your friends will like it, your friends and friends will like it. And then keep sharing, keep like it. This is promotion, this is marketing. And then the last one, be a good boss. This is for me, for me. Um, care my, fam uh, my crew as a family members, and then, make them love the company and that they will work. They, they, they have all many opportunities to go out to work in a, another company or get more higher salary or benefits. But why they stay in Pride Entertainment? We pay for them is really lower pay. But why they uh, still fight for me and then fight with me? Because they love the company. Okay. Today you may not know the Pride Entertainment production, but trust me, 
I have confidence that in the future, in this coming three or five years, you will know us because you will see our artists and our show all over Macau. I should, trust me, you will, you will. Um, I have confidence of, of, of this. Okay. To conclude my, my, my tech talk, uh, actually, just few words can conclude. Uh, when I first come back to Macau to the moment I stand on this stage, this few words always on my mind. Why? 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 Um, keep asking yourself why. Don't agree all the things people told you. Second, how? How? How to solve that problem? And then the third one, try. Try to solve the problem. Don't just sit on the bench and then say and then talk and then think. Try. Try to do it and then learn. Keep learning. Even you think you have enough experience to solve all the problems, you still have to learn. So that's why I am here. L later on, I will, I will listen to the professor's talk and then I will learn something from him. I will learn something from you. And then even when I'm preparing the talk, I learn more English, but it's still bad, right? Okay, next. The last thing, the last thing, last but, lo but not least, uh, I have to thank you, say thank you to F and F. What's it? F and F. My family and, and my, uh, friends. Uh, no matter how people outside say that, I uh, think you are crazy. You can't survive in this field. Uh, I probably may shut down in a few years. But my family and friends, even my sister is here today. Uh, they always support me. They always show me that I'm not alone, uh, to walk along to my goals. So, um, I really say, I, I want to say thank you to them. Do I still have enough time? How, how many time? Uh, three minutes, alright? Three minutes. Okay. Let's finish the test just now. Let's finish the test just now. Can you put on your, put, put out your, uh, iPhone? Put some. Yeah, I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Later on, when I, when I, when I go back to my, my, my set, I will check on my Facebook how many likes gain in this few minutes. Yeah, this marketing, this promotion. Yeah. So think about it. If you really like something, like me, I always watch, uh, Hong Kong TV, Taiwan, Taiwan, listen to Taiwan pop music. And then, why? I love this. I love creative industry. But why there is no creative industry in Macau? If you really like one thing, if you have passion on one thing, just try. Keep doing it. Try and think about how can you improve yourself to achieve your goal. Um, for me, uh, stand, standing here to a tech talk is a really big challenge for me because I, I, I used to have a lot of interview in Chinese. I can talk about many, many, many things. But talk in English, I really try my best uh, because I'm not afraid to stand here because I want to share my ideas to you. Even my English is not really, really nice. I want you to understand what I'm thinking about, what I want to change in Macau. That's why I'm here today. Thank you.